Hey guys, uh, check it out, the camera is stable this time. I got a tripod, took everybody's advice there, so sorry about that last video being a little shaky. I've been promising an update to everybody for quite a while, so I've got 10,900 miles on the truck now. I think it's a good time to do this and kind of go over the details of really what makes this a great truck and what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Details basically, you know, all throughout. So. Stay tuned, we're going to go through each one and, and kind of discuss the topics I think that are important in buying a new vehicle and why this one seems to be a pretty good choice. Flowers. Damn, dude, this truck is fast, man. It, like, really, once that turbo kicks in, it like it just pulls. That's cool. I really like this exhaust brake, man. It is powerful. It's just holding me right at 60. Engage it for a second and see what happens. I'm picking up six, seven, eight miles an hour with it off. Okay, we made it to Jada. Kinda. Wow, it's nice. Slow dust kills great. to the beach. Diesel Colorado is doing good. I don't know where we're at. We just pulled over off the side of the road and found some badass secret surf spot. Just wanted to smell the smell the ocean for a bit. Dude, we just saw two dolphins jumping way out there. Oh, that's so fucking sick. They're just chilling. I got excited. But yeah, the surfers are watching them. Dude, dolphins. Dolphins and ostriches in the same day. How sick is that? Look at that. Oh! <laughs> he just dropped his meal. <laughs> he got it. Got, got himself a little clam. Alright, so we're just cruising right along here. So I drove this to work every day this week. It's a 26 mile commute both ways. Well, each way, I guess. So, and it was all traffic the whole time, not one good day at all. And let's see how much it cost me to go to work in it for one week. 26 bucks. So, not bad. Five bucks a day. Just about where I was expecting it to be. That's all I did. Only commuting. So, 26 miles is 26 bucks a week if you go that far to work. Not bad. 10.806. Do I want a receipt? Yeah, but you're probably not going to work, so I'll have to go inside to get it. No one ever fills this damn thing up. Oh man, look at you. <laughs> I called that. I'll be right back. 2,900 miles. Alright, so since we've been driving on this little trip here, uh, mostly free highway, I'm up to 30.9. I'm gonna break 31 miles per gallon here. Easy money, man. This is the four-wheel drive model. So I have, I 
have that handicap, which, you know, has a little bit more weight to sling around in the front axles, obviously. So, anyway, um, well, once you get going, man, it's a cruiser. That's the one thing this truck does extremely well, is just sit here and cruise and just cover miles. All right, YouTube. Let's see what it takes to load a motorcycle in the back of the Colorado diesel short bed. Plenty of room. You don't need the long bed. Honestly, if I had the long bed, I'd probably be disappointed because I'd still have to open the gate. I don't think it'd be enough. Like, I get a foot, but that's... If I went if I went diagonal, I might be able to get it closed. If I had the long bed, but whatever. Drone shot. Meow. There you go. Just a bunch of rich kids with toys. Corey, we're balling out of control, right? <laughs> we got all kinds of money. Look at this, look at this race car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, pine flat. We're going to town. All right, guys, we're uh, we're finally gonna do some four buying with this thing. Let's see what it's got. Uh, I have not taken the chin spoiler off though, so I'm a little worried. We're gonna have some approach angle issues, but. There's a nice little hill back here behind my house and I figured it was a perfect little test subject to uh, see what she's got to get up. I haven't really done too much in it to be honest. I haven't used the four low at all hardly except for, you know, just to turn it on and make sure it works, but I uh, might have to use that. That's the hill way out there in the distance. So we're gonna go down this little dirt patch here and uh, see if we can get ourselves into some trouble. This might be a little bit trickier than I was expecting. We'll see. Hopefully it'll do it. Just gonna take our time. See what it's got. We'll walk it real quick, make sure it's not uh, littered with all kinds of bad stuff. Oh yeah. I don't know what that is, but all kinds of good stuff. It should be fun. I think it'll do it. I don't know. I don't have hardly any 4 by an experience, so might be cutting my teeth a little bit thick, but I mean, it looks like it should do it, right? I freaking hate that chin spoiler, though. Round looks pretty good. <laughs> Huh? There's the run. So, I don't know. I guess I'm probably about a 30 degree angle. Well, I gotta say guys, I'm a little bit intimidated here. It's my first time trying to do this with this truck, so. Let's uh... Give her a go here with just the uh, two wheel drive. I noticed the hill start kicks in there. I'm thinking we're going to want to just start out in four low, actually. So let's just do that. We're going to switch it over to neutral here. We're going to pop this sucker over here. Four wheel drive shift in progress. All right, well. Traction control's off. Everything's locked out. Put it in drive, Kevin. And here we go.
Wow, I can just feel it in my seat here. Mind the no, don't mind the no seatbelt thing. But man, this sucker just crawls right up. Like a piece of cake. I didn't even get over 1500. That was easy. Very cool. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and shift it out of four, though. That one had a little sis mode. Man, it's so quiet in here, too. That was impressively easy. Very confidence inspiring, to be honest. I mean, that's the steepest hill I've ever climbed in a vehicle, period, so hopefully I can pick that same line coming down. But yeah, you should get an idea. If, I mean, it's definitely steep here. We're just going to use this guy here and get it going. You can see the camera. Camera down there. <laughs> Alright, well, i got to drive this sucker, so... Alright, we got the... Uh, turned on the thingy. I'm trying to let it do its thingy. It's getting a little crazy here. Alright, yeah, definitely scraped the fascia. But, uh, all in all, got us down the hill. So, There you have it, guys. All right, what's up, YouTube? So I know it's been a while. I suck ass. I got a bunch of footage, just not uploading it. Not enough time to edit. But uh, here you go. This is the project today. And that's what we're gonna tow it with. 2016 Duramax Colorado. Let's, uh, let's actually do a towing test with it now. Should be uh, interesting. So the story is uh, we're at Havasu and blew up the motor in this thing. So I gotta get it taken out of there so we're gonna take it over to my brother's work he's just got a forklift over there and uh, try to rip it out but figured it's a good good first test for the you know truck here and we'll see how it does so I got it hooked up you know here and here um, it's all ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and back it on up dude that is awesome look at that look how close I can get Yeah, dude, you couldn't you can ask for a more awesome feature than a backup camera. <laughs> that is too cool. I'm used to doing with this with that 03 Suburban. You gotta have like somebody stand here and give you the fucking hand gestures and bust up your stuff. Put a hole in your bumper. That's just awesome. Alright. Away we go. See how this goes. So far, so good. Seems like it's pulling all right. Actually, I need to like lower my mirror on this side a little bit so I can actually see the trailer. That's better. Cool. I got a truck that'll pull a boat. This is America. Brakes feel pretty good. I mean, they're not questionable or anything. I definitely. Uh, Definitely say I'm. Um, I feel like I'm in control of the load. Okay, let's get it to speed here. So it's about half throttle. She's pulling good. Huh? 
It's not the fastest thing, but uh, it's doing just fine. It's got a hell of a bob though, I gotta say. First impressions, the ride is gonna be uh, a little interesting. We'll see how it does. So she's making torque, she's, she's shifting. Right now I still got the truck bone stock. Um, it has been, I got some exciting news for you guys. It's been in the shop a couple times now for, uh, actually, yeah, twice, for getting an intake prototype test fitted for SMV filters. So, shh, shh, don't tell anybody, but I'm gonna have one of the very first one of those. And uh, it's just cool being a part of like a development process with a, with a company. And, and SMB is one hell of a company, let me tell you what. Those guys absolutely know what they're doing. And I mean, they, uh, they're over there in Fontana and they're just, they make the stuff, you know, it's not, it's not a marketing company like k and It's a full blown uh, manufacturing warehouse and you know, made in, made in USA products and just really happy to be able to support them and help them out and also be one of the first ones to get, get one of their intakes for this truck. So that's gonna be really cool. They make such a nice product. Check them out if you haven't heard of S&B. Uh, they're, they're just, they're definitely worth knowing about. Especially when it comes to diesels. They, they really know know the diesel market and they do a bunch of other cool products. They have like a, a really cool thing for the the razors and stuff but we got a boat behind us as we do big old 21 and a half foot ryan l ski boat it's coming up on 20 years old still in good shape it's a little dirty right now but you know we were out there in havasu and we we uh, blew it up and uh, that sucked because we had to get towed in for about 10 miles see y'all there so far towing is good though i mean we're getting up to speed just fine it's staying in traffic no problem i don't have any complaints it's definitely capable i don't know what the weight is on that boat it might say on the trailer or it might say like somewhere on the vehicle i don't know but uh, i'm gonna guess around 3500 pounds maybe altogether. um this is rated for 7600 it's the four-wheel drive but uh it's plenty of plenty of headroom there i mean we're not we're not at max towing or anything like that and you know, I, I can definitely say it, it feels just fine. It's pretty comfortable, actually. It does, you can tell something's there, but it's not It's not really, like, that bad. I and mean, it's just, like, you, same as if I was driving our Suburban. You, you know you're towing, but you're not, not really loading it that hard. I don't know, with the Suburban, like, that, that's a pretty good, pretty good vehicle for towing the boat, for sure, but... This really isn't bad. I could do I could do a trip out to have a suit with this truck, no problem with this boat behind me or you know somewhere else up north there. So, a thousand ways to die, episode seventy-two. Death by forklift. Well, that sucked ass. But she's out. Sketchy. the Chevy Colorado. It has a uh, remote switchable rear tail light for the bed, which is, or bed light I guess, sorry. Which is pretty cool. You can run that while the truck's off. I like that a lot. Also, fits through this thing, which is really helpful in the event that you want to get a beer or something out of the back and uh, your buddy's driving. It's pretty redneck, but definitely worth it. That's pretty good. Some things that suck about this truck. One of the things that I 
don't like about this truck is anytime anybody opens the uh, door, the whole center console lights up like a Christmas tree. And it just makes this big display. Now you can turn off the internal lights from turning on here, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't affect the center console, which is kind of stupid to me. I don't know, maybe it's just me. But uh, it didn't do it this time, but typically it'll go into this full MyLink mode, and it goes into like this demo. And I mean, it's it's crazy. Like any, if I just open the rear door to get something out of the you know back seat, it's it's all fired up in here. And it's just kind of dumb, so, yeah, that's a dislike for me. Maybe uh, firmware updates can handle that later and turn that off, but, yeah, not the, not the smartest, I guess. It's like it's stuck in a demo mode or something, if you're at a dealer. Okay, the gap on this particular part of the truck bed, right here, in relation with the rest of the body, is really bad. I mean, it's like... It's poor. It's very poor. Uh, hold on. Focus this for you if I can. Working on limited space, but generally, I mean, it just doesn't. The fit and finish here is is, is a total failure. Relative to the other side, I mean, my finger sticks up probably way too much on this side. And I notice these things, and they bug the shit out of me. In case you guys were wondering, the Chevy Colorado is absolutely compatible with Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, so when you guys want to, you know, get your Tyrannosaurus Rex and put them up on your dashboard, it's a good idea. And it, it really pays tribute and, and honors and respects all of the dead dinosaurs that died so that we could drive these trucks around. I mean, and cars, of course, right? So gas and diesel, fuel. So just honor... Honor the guys and, and just respect them because without the dinosaurs, we wouldn't have this shit.